Do you think every person who seeks a job and career changing the world needs to have a community experience? Always. We can get um, too comfortable in our titles and our cushy jobs and we have to have field experience, especially if we're going to do economic justice work. We need to experience and see what economic injustice looks like. I had only seen that in rural Texas mm -hmm. and in India mm -hmm. to some degree, but I had no idea what the magnitude of that is like in rural Africa. Our social entrepreneurs are people who have been on the front lines of social change. I've learned so much from talking with them. This is Cafe Impact, and I'm Jonathan Lewis. I think there's a lot of, um, especially young professionals mm -hmm. and young people who feel powerless and they don't really think they have the tools or the, 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 the place to stand to really change the world. I, um, I work with a lot of students on this kind of issue and what I tell them is they've just got to dare themselves to take a risk. What's an early risk for you? Um, Peace Corps? Peace Corps was a very early risk for me. I was the first one in my family to go to college and my parents were very proud of it. They both had to work. My mom in a factory and my dad in the supermarket and um, I was their success story. Um, however, um, on graduation day, um, they said, are you gonna be a doctor? Are you gonna be an engineer? You're gonna be a businessman? What are you gonna, a lawyer? Mm -hmm. I said, I'm gonna join the Peace Corps. And they said, what? Another one of those Kennedy ideas? Um, he's ruining the country, you know. I said, no, 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 he's making the world better. But um, my parents were very much opposed to this and it was very difficult. How much pressure did it. they put on you? Um, tremendous pressure. Up until we were leaving from O'Hare Airport for me to go to Peru, my mother questioning me, like, where is Peru? Um, you've never been out of the country, what do you know? Do they have doctors? Do they speak English there? What are you gonna eat? Uh, you know you like my cooking? I said, Mom, I'm gonna be a pioneer. Why do you always have to be the pioneer? Let them do it, let them come back and then you go. I said, no, I wanna be the first to go. What would you say to a person who is coming out of college? How do they get that first real experience where they can actually begin to acquire some useful skills that are about the communities they serve? I think there's uh, obviously no dearth of incredible fellowship programs, internship programs, but one of the main things I would say is it's not something you can do in a one week placement. Uh, the process of community transformation and community change is a long process. It's an iterative process and it's a process that uh, for the first few months you're just observing. Mm -hmm. You don't even get to the learning and the contributing for a few years. Right. Lots of people are interested, how do you get started? So you knew as an undergraduate you wanted to do international development straight from Tufts into the Peace Corps. Good decision, bad decision. One of the best decisions I ever made in my life. We were sent off to a village where most people had never even seen a white person before. No running water, no newspapers, no radio, no TV, no electricity, no nothing. And I quickly realized that I had wasted in four years at Tufts University and hadn't learned a thing that was useful because once I got out to a village and rural Mauritania, not one speck of it applied. And you could either approach it as a two-year camping trip, which some people did, um, or you could try to get serious. 